Okay, Kellen, it's uh, Legends of Gold 2016. How many years have you been coming here? Five. Five years, because it's been in existence for five years. Yep. What's the biggest change from when you came, you know, five years ago to now? What would you say the biggest change about this facility has been, or the, the coaching staff, what's the biggest change for you? Probably, so instead of me throwing headlocks all the time, they taught me the basics, so I wasn't doing, like, dumb stuff. Pin, win, or die is not your, your philosophy anymore? No. So, you, as far as you as an athlete, you know, you're, you're doing more basic stuff, probably like attacks, I could only assume. Yeah. That's, like, something you needed to do to win. But the wrestling room used to be in the weight room, right? Yeah. And it was small. Yeah. Now they got four mats, four and a half mats. How much has the facility changed for you? I guess, you know, you've obviously developed and evolved as a, an athlete, but the facility, how much different is that from a little one mat room to four and a half mats? It's a huge difference. Not falling over people anymore? No. Um, the houses, though, the dorms, did they have dorms when you first came? Yeah. Did you stay here in the summer? Yeah. Um, yeah. So you stayed here in the summer because you guys live about a half hour north? Yeah. So now, do you just stay on campus the whole summer? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you like that? Yes. Is that really summer vacation? Yeah. It is? Okay. Uh, next year, where are you going to high school? Uh, very soon. So if you're going to school here, um, looking at this training facility being here, what do you think your goals are next year? So I want to stay title. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah? What weight? Uh, 106. 106? What do you weigh now? About 110. Um, looking at the stress on off-season wrestling, how much has Coach Pack and the coaches who've been through stressed off-season wrestling to you? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Did you go to Fargo? Yeah. What were you at Fargo? Uh, I got sixth in Greco and then I didn't place in freestyle. So you're All-American in yeah. Greco, not in freestyle? Yeah. What do you think of that? Like, what did Greco, what is freestyle, what has off-season wrestling done for you? Well, it's been a huge, like, confidence boost from what I did at Northern Plains, but... Why is it, why does it boost your confidence so much? Because I haven't wrestled uh, Freestyle Greco for two years. And you, so, you've only done it two years and you're an All-American already? Yeah. In Fargo? I'm impressed. This is my impressed face. But look, you know, like looking at that, what is it giving you confidence and how? Well, it, it helps me so that I can basically think to myself that I can do better. Manage matches too? Don't do crazy stuff when you don't need to do crazy stuff? Yeah. I'll have to talk to Galt about that. It's, it seems like Galt has a problem with that. Yeah. Uh, you'll be teammates with Galt next year. Yeah. What's something you learned from Galt? He, well, for freestyle Greco, instead of just going in and grabbing the guy, he was teaching me to just walk in and then attack one side, not both sides. Okay. So have a plan? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you can win a state title, is the goal, obviously, to be, then to be a four-time state champ. Mm -hmm. Can you win Fargo eventually? Hopefully. Is that the goal? Yeah. All right. Favorite thing about Legends of Gold? That we have, like, nice dorm rooms, and then we get to have activities, so it's not always just focused on wrestling, and just we get to do all sorts of fun stuff. If there's one thing you want people to know in the country um, about this place, what would it be? that we get more one-on-one uh, -on -one training than probably most of the other places around here. All right, do you got anything else for me? Thanks for the time. Uh, I'm gonna talk to your boy Galt next and see, uh, <laughs> see how he can manage matches better, all right?